Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about routing attributes. So before learning about routing attributes, we need to understand why we need to use routing attributes. So the way Web API works is that whenever a GET request is sent on a URL, Web API will route the request to a method that is GET or starts with GET. So whenever I send a GET request to a URL, any of the methods or any of the first methods that match the GET will get executed. So it can map to either GET or GET customers or GET products, anything. So whichever first method matches, it will be picked up. As you can see, this is always not scalable because I may have many different GET methods and all GET methods may not always necessarily start with GET. So to overcome this, what you can do is you can define something called routing attributes. So routing attributes are nothing but the decorators that you can use on top of the methods or action methods. And these routing attributes specify what are the different methods that are allowed for that particular method to be called. For example, I can have a method called m1. Okay. And I can define this m1 can be decorated with HTTP GET, HTTP PUT, HTTP POST. So in that case, any of the three different requests, for example, GET, PUT or POST will be allowed on that particular action method, whereas HTTP DELETE will not be allowed. Okay. So you can use accept verbs attribute as well to only allow certain requests to a method. Okay. And basically, prevent a method from getting invoked at all, what you can do is you can use the non-action attribute. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.